hello guys welcome once more to another video in our youtube channel so in this video we continue solving the northwest regional mock of 2023 few math with mechanics paper three equations so we are going to be solving question number four which came from the topic um impact and momentum or collision direct impact and momentum or collision between spheres so for those of you who have not watched the solutions to the first three equations check the description of this video and you're going to find those solutions so you click on any which interests you okay so i'm just going to read the equation and we get the solution together so the equation reads sphere a of mass m traveling with speed u on a smooth horizontal floor collides directly with a stationary sphere b of mass 3m at a distance of 10 on u meters from a perpendicular wall the sphere b hits the wall rebounds and collides with sphere a again given that the coefficient of restitution between the spheres is one quarter and between the wall and the sphere is one feet a calculate the speeds of the spheres after their first impact b calculate the time it takes b to hit the wall c determine whether or not the sphere b can hit the wall a second time so the first thing we are going to do is that you are going to draw the diagram of what is happening that's the very first thing to do so we have a horizontal ground and then we have sphere a we have sphere b we have a wall which is perpendicular to that ground meaning that it is vertically and we know the ground is horizontally okay so sphere a is initially both of them were initially at rest and then sphere a is now moving it's now giving the speed of u and then it collides directly with sphere b whose mass is 3m so the mass of sphere a is m and the mass of sphere b is 3m and sphere b is at a distance of 10 u meters from the wall so they have masses m and 3m respectively now sphere a has an initial speed or velocity of u while sphere b has an initial speed or velocity of of, of zero because it is at rest now what happens is that sphere b now um anyways they first of all collide okay so sphere a collides with sphere b at that point and then now in later on sphere b now moves to the wall hits the wall and then rebounds to collide again with sphere a but we are just going to model this case because we need to find their final velocities after the first impact so we are going to apply two important laws the first law is that we are going to use the principle of conservation of linear momentum along the smooth horizontal table or the smooth horizontal floor so um, the principle of conservation of linear momentum says that the momentum before collision equals to the momentum after collision now the momentum is simply the product of the mass and the velocity so momentum before collision we need to multiply the mass and the velocity of each sphere we add the two we do the same thing to momentum after collision so for sphere a we have the mass of sphere a which is m times its initial speed which is u plus for sphere b was at rest so its momentum is zero now we equate it to their final momentum the sum of their final momentums so we have the mass of sphere a times its final speed which is va as indicated plus the mass of sphere b which is 3m times its final speed the m's can cancel and then we get this equation u is equal to va plus 3vb now the next law is the newton's experimental law or the law of restitution this law relates the question of restitution between the spheres and the ratio between their velocity of approach and a velocity of separation so this law says that the question of restitution between the spheres is equal to the the ratio between the difference between the velocity of separation and the difference between the velocity of approach velocity of separation means their final velocities velocity of approach means their initial velocities so since the question of restitution was one on four we have one on four to be equal to vb minus va divided by ua minus ub somebody could see, say va minus vb but in the denominator you need to switch since i began here with vb then in the denominator i need to begin with ua so it all depends on how you want to use the formula but at the end of the day we have the same results so we just need to replace the um ua with u and then ub with zero so the denominator becomes u we just cross multiply we multiply with one on four to get u on four 
and then the right hand side is vb minus a we can call that equation two now since we need their final velocities after the first impact it means you need to find va and vb so if we add the two equations okay this first is equation one and the second is equation two adding the two equations you have va minus va is zero then three vb plus vb is four vb and then adding the right hand side you get u plus u on four which is five u on four so we can conclude that our vb is five u on 16 if we divide both sides by four so the final velocity of sphere b after the first impact is 5u divided by 16. now from equation 2 okay we can get va by taking vb minus u on 4. so va equal to vb minus u on 4 meaning you take um 5u on 16 minus u on 4 it gives you u on 16. so va is equal to u on 16 which is the final velocity of a after the first impact and vb is 5u on 16 which is the final velocity of b after the first impact okay now the second question is asking us to get the time that sphere b will use to hit the wall okay so in that second scenario b moves to the wall collides to the wall and then automatically it covers the total distance of 10 10 divided by u meters so to get a time taking since this is linear linearly accelerated motion we are just going to use um, the relationship between the velocity and the distance alongside the time so the velocity of b which is actually remember that when b is moving to the wall it uses this initial velocity meaning that the initial velocity that you that sphere b uses to uh, move to the wall is simply the final velocity it acquired when it collided with a at the first collision so that velocity is equal to the distance divided by the time taking so vb is equal to distance divided by time taking so we can get a time taking by taking the distance divided by that velocity now the distance is simply 10 divided by u and the velocity is 5u divided by 16 so when we do the ratio we are going to end up with 32 divided by u squared meters so second sorry so the time taking force for b to hit the wall is 32 divided by u squared seconds okay now um the next question is asking us to determine whether or not sphere b will hit the wall the second time so for sphere b to hit the wall the second time okay it actually means that because according to the equation sphere b hits the wall the first time it rebounds and then collides again with a so we don't know if after it collides with a it goes back to the wall or it continues moving in the same direction that that is to the left because when it's moving to the wall it is moving to the right now when it rebounds from the wall it is now moving to the left for it to collide again with the wall it means when, when it means when it collides with a for the second time it now moves back to the left so that is what we have to determine so to do that first of all we are going to start find we are going to start by finding the velocity of sphere b after it hits the wall so we call it vb prime and when you're dealing with collisions between spheres and the wall we use only the newton's law of restitution we don't use the conservation of linear momentum because the mass of the wall is so large okay and the wall was at rest initially and finally the wall is not moving so from that newton's experimental law it says that the coefficient of restitution between the wall and the sphere which was given the equation as one on five is equal to like i said ratio between the difference between velocity of separation and the difference between velocity of approach now let us say that sphere b had a final velocity of vb prime when it collided with the wall and then the velocity of the wall is v is um is vw now the initial velocity of the wall is uw so here is supposed to be uw so the initial velocity of the wall is uw and the initial velocity of b is ub okay but now that initial velocity of b which i've indicated as ub is simply vb because um vb is the initial velocity it used when it was approaching the wall so it therefore means that we have that since vw is zero the final velocity of the wall is zero the wall was not moving okay and the initial velocity of the wall is also zero so we have that our ub is equal to vb because it is the initial velocity that b was using to arrive the wall which is definitely the final velocity that b had when it collided with a at the first collision so we have um, negative vb prime divided by vb so it means since we need vb prime 
we get our VB prime to be negative VB on 5. And our VB is 5U on 16. So simplifying, we get VB prime to be negative U divided by 16. This negative sign indicates that it was moving in the opposite direction. Meaning it was now moving to the left. That is actually rebounded. Okay. Now, um, when it rebounds, okay, here we have here it is at the wall it is now when it's rebounding it means it's now moving with a speed of vb prime which is u on 16 i'm just going to since it is vb prime i'm going to call it u on 16 because i have indicated that it is moving to the left but when i'm going to be using it in calculations i will replace it with negative because of my reference frame now when a collided with b a acquired a final velocity of u on 16 okay so a acquiring this final velocity of u on 16 it means a was actually still moving it, it, it did not come to rest so a is now moving to the right and b is moving to the left because b arrived the wall and rebound and it b hits a again okay so they collided again for the second time and then they acquired final velocities of va prime and vb prime prime so we are going to determine whether or not the sphere b can hit the wall for the second time remember that for this sphere b to go back to the wall it means it has to move now to the right after the second collision so its velocity is supposed to be positive indicating that it is moving to the right but if the velocity is still negative if if v prime prime is still negative at the end it means it can never hit the wall because v prime prime being negative it means it continues moving to the left okay so we are going to apply our principle of conservation of linear momentum along the horizontal floor which says momentum before collision equals to momentum after collision momentum before collision we are here we have the mass of a which is m times its initial velocity but the initial velocity of a for this second collision is simply the final velocity that a had when it first collided with b okay then plus the mass of b which is 3m times the initial velocity of b for the second collision but the initial velocity of b for the second collision is the final velocity that b had when it collided with the wall which is v prime of b now we equate it to the velocity the mass of a times its final velocity after colliding with b for the second time which is va prime plus the mass of b times its final velocity after colliding with a for the second time so we just need to replace the respective values all the m's are going to cancel va is u on 16 then we have a 3 here now vb like i said we put the negative sign because it is moving in the opposite direction to sphere a then um, we equate it to va prime plus 3 vb prime prime we can simplify the left hand side of the equation and then we switch the sides so we have va prime plus 3 vb prime prime to be equal to negative 8 negative u divided by 8 so we can call that equation star next we are going to apply the newton's law of restitution which says that the question of restitution which is one quarter remember that between the sphere was one quarter and between the sphere and the wall was one feet so one quarter is equal to the ratio between the velocities of separation divided by the velocity of approach the velocity of separation the difference is vb prime prime separation means their final speed after the second impact vb prime prime minus va prime then divided by va which is the initial velocity here minus vb prime which is its initial velocity here that is for the second impact so um we have that our va is u on 16 then minus our vb prime is negative u on 16 because it was moving in the opposite direction so i have u on 16 minus negative u on 16 which is going to give me u on 8 we can simplify and then we get the second equation now since we are interested in getting um, in determining if b will hit the wall again we just need to find its final speed so we can just add the two equations okay and we see that va minus va is zero and then 3 vb prime prime plus vb prime prime is 4 vb prime prime then negative u on 8 plus u on 32 is negative 3 on 32 u to get vb prime prime we divide both sides by 4 so vb prime prime is negative 3 divided by 128u so we see that vb prime prime is negative 3 on 128u this negative sign indicates that it was moving in the same direction that is to the left okay so it means we can conclude that since that final speed it acquired is negative then it can never hit the wall again because it continues moving to the left and not to the right taking reference that for you to hit the wall you need to move to the right 
so for those of you who have not watched the first second and third videos that's the first the solution to the first second and third questions the first question was on kinematic second work energy and power third question center of mass so endeavor to watch i'm going to include the video links in the description of this video endeavor to subscribe to the channel as well thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video